Good morning, everyone. You know, usually if you have an important position, like, say, the vice president of the United States, people recognize that. And when they don't, you got to let them know who's boss, just like our next guest does on Tyler Perry's The Oval. Take a look. This is urgent. Okay, what is it? I need to speak with you, the president, and the first lady. Oh, hey, this is, this is really, really bad timing. I understand that, okay. but I need it to happen today. What is it all about, huh? I am the vice president of the United States. I understand that, and I am the chief of staff of the United States. And I need to talk to you all at once. Well, that's not going to happen. Make it happen. I'm not leaving until it does. Hey, boss. Well, the talented Mr. Thomas, who fans know as Eli on my cousin's show, knows a thing or two about those White House shenanigans. But this man also has some serious skills behind the camera. So let's give a vice presidential hello to Mr. Russell Thomas. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I, just, I just saluted. Should I bow? What should I do? <laughs> I think the salute is Sit perfect, up straight. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I look you in the eye or no? I cannot, I can close my eyes for this interview. Trust me. No? Open? We'll, we'll have Secret Service, we'll have Secret Service fill you in on how to behave. <laughs> oh, listen, I, I have like Secret Service and security on me all the time because I cannot be trusted, but we'll get to that later. But you joined perfect. this madness, I believe, in season three. And let me just say, Correct. Eli is a do is like he he understood the assignment when it comes to delivering on the twists and turns, especially with his, his entanglements, and even crazier, having to be second in command to President Franklin. It was it was it's been a fun experience. I'll say that it, it was really fun to come in in season three and kind of get my toes wet and experience uh, the the way that we produce the show and also kind of insert myself into the story and then um, develop a character a certain way and have those expectations sort of uh, uh, reversed, as it were, in season four. <laughs> and by the way, let me tell you, you do look like you could be like... Uh like a person, not, not just a pop of power in Hollywood, but in politics. Like, I feel like if you ran in real life for something, you could probably win, because you have that presence at least. I don't know what your <laughs> policy is. But, I, I appreciate that. But, I, don't, I don't know if the policy matters, if, if you can make it look good on TV, see, right? See, that's true, right? <laughs> and you seem like a nice guy, so you have my vote. Whenever it is, you there have my go. vote. And so, there we go. When, 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 about the show, there's drama, and then there's the oval, because you guys are simply out of control. My cousin Tyler Perry is the mastermind, so do you ever see the script and wonder what could possibly be going on in this man's brain to be coming up with these scenarios that we never see coming? It's, it's very impressive. First off, just, just the, uh, the amount of material that this guy puts out is so amazing. He is just prolific with the amount of material that, that he's able to produce. And I know that there were a number of times, especially in season four, once my character started to reveal some certain aspects of himself, that uh, I, had to, I had to close the script and be like, what, what did I just read? And I had to open it back up. I'm like, yeah, that's really what I'm doing here. So it was, it was really fun to, to experience those, those revelations just reading the script and then getting into it as an actor is, is always really fun to get into those, you know, more steamy situations. Okay, but you know, another thing about you is that you're a lot like my cousin Tyler because you also <laughs> have plenty of experience behind the camera. You've done yeah. even more because you've done stunts, you've done all, like a ton of, there's no department like I think in film and television that you have not worked in, right? What have you not done at this point? Because I'm looking at your resume, I'm like, he's done that, he's that. I was like, what is, what is up with you? Like, what have you not done? I, I haven't done the sound part yet, but oh. <laughs> outside of that, I've done all, all the visual stuff in front of the camera, behind the camera. And really, ever since I was a kid, I've loved film and television. And so uh, for me, just anything that I can do to be on set, and whether that's in front of the camera, behind the camera, I've, I've worked as a camera operator. Um, I've worked as an assistant camera operator. I've done a little bit of writing here and there, and I've done some editing. So really, I just love all of the different aspects of filmmaking and visual storytelling. Mm, sorry, I was rolling my eyes at you because I do none of the above. <laughs> but you know what I do really well? What? Stalking. And during my stalkeration <laughs> of you, I noticed that you are a fan of the outdoors and you love to hike. Yes. And, yes. and your camera work, what kind of phone do you have, sir? Because I, is that a phone or a real camera? So I, on that particular trip that you're seeing there, oh I, I brought both. And so I have a, a, a very nice Canon camera that I like to take uh, up into the mountains and get some nice photography. And then obviously for some of the quick shots, uh, I'll just use my, my uh, iPhone. It doesn't but, matter um, what you give those... me. My pictures would never <laughs> come out that nice. 
I could be like in a heavenly place, it will it would be blurry. It helps when you go to the Sierra Nevada. There's a lot of beautiful places to take pictures, so I'm I'm pretty sure you could you could get it done. Uh -uh. I'm telling you, <laughs> not gonna happen. Cannot happen. All right. Also, so what? So are you done shooting this season, or are you gonna see Cousin Tyler anytime soon? Uh, well, we're we're working on gearing up a new season here pretty soon, so I, I'll be seeing your cousin uh, shortly. Okay. So tell him I said number one, not cool. Unblock me, please. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you laughing? I'll, I'll pass along. You, you, you see, you're like a, you have you have a powerful presence. Say, OG says, not cool. Unblock her. Yeah. We are family forever. <laughs> and and you know why you have to tell him that? Because you're my family member. We're CW family members. Jane the Virgin, right? Yes. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Are you gonna <laughs> let your family member down? I will pass along the message. I can't make any promises that they'll listen to me because <laughs> the 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 power balance is a little different there, but. I'm pretty sure I can get the message through. All right, thank you. If not, you're just gonna be my new stalking victim and, until you tell <laughs> him to pick go. up his phone. All right, such a <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Great to meet you too. I'll, I will be seeing you on TV as Mr. Yes. Vice President on Tyler Perry's The Oval, Tuesday nights on BET. See you soon, come back anytime with more pictures, Sounds more good. stuff you're working on, because I know you're working on more stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. All right, thank you, sir.